What's going on guys? What you're going to be watching in this video is a quick recap pretty much on um, Atlantic City. I've never done a video like this, so um, bear with me. Um, so if you see me looking on my monitor right here, I'm going to be looking at, um, I have like a post note here. And I wrote out like, wrote down some things that like, you know, just to like, I like writing things down that like I'm about to talk about. So like I don't forget them. So um, I'm going to be kind of like looking at my screen trying to talk and like towards you guys to the camera. So um, just bear with me. So um, first off, I just want to thank... Um, UGC for hosting the tournament. Um, it was actually a really good tournament. Um, you know, the main stage was really nice. The hotel, especially um, Caesar's Palace, was actually really dope. Um, you know, the only thing about the main stage though was like there was like a like a spotlight right above like on my forehead and like went into my eyes and like it was like really annoying. But I mean, I kind of got used to it like towards the finals. So, I mean, it wasn't really that bad. Um, all right, so Friday. Which is the first day we played um, pool play. We played uh, the Ghost of Crew, which is Abolix, Yogurt, Noxious, Colin, and Fatal Strike. Um, yeah, that was our first match in pool play. Um, the first map was Harbor, and we ended up beating them 7 0, I think. Yeah, it was 7 0. Then we played Reclaimed, and we ended up beating them 7 1. So that's a 14 1 game. But, um,. You know, they're a really good team. We're just like, we were feeling ourselves that day. You know, first match of the day, you know, we had to go all out and whatever. So then right after that, um, I think an, an hour later, we ended up playing E6. Yeah, we played E6 and we played them on Harbor again. I think they picked Harbor or I think we did. I'm not sure, but uh, we 7 0 them on Harbor and then we played Foundation and we beat them 7 1 or 7 2. I can't remember that. But the, the crazy thing is that when it was like 6 1, um, Hudson's had me down outside the hill and he was in like he could have broke it but instead he went for the kill and I mean he could have stayed in the game if he didn't go for my kill. But he said I ate a point blank so I mean I guess you could say that. <clears throat> but yeah, E6, um forgot to say um Affinity, Eternity, Hudson's Phenomenon and Wildebeest. But um yeah I think uh they split up or a couple players uh, went to go do something else. So I'm not sure what's going on with that team now. Um let me see so yeah, that's pretty much the day. Uh, we only played two matches, and the rest of that day was just we chilled. Uh, we went to go see a side station match. What we really wanted to watch was um, Echo versus e United because um, we thought it was gonna be a really good series. I I'm pretty sure they went tiebreaker, like seven five or something. I have no idea. I don't remember, but it was a really good series. I remember that. Um, Echo Fox, obviously, they came out with the W. Um, they actually came out first in their pool as well, and you know a lot of people thought e United was gonna come out first. And we assumed we were going to play Equifox first in the winner's bracket because we played the second pool, pool play team in that pool. But we actually ended up playing E United on Saturday. But um, I'll be talking about that later. Um, so Saturday, the first match of the day was Illicit. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. Illicit. Um, but it's Sneaky, Strangulate, Defazio, Fnatic, and Vision. So... Um, Visions, Fnatic, Defazio have been uh, teammates for a while since like GAL3, like they're really good friends of mine. Um, but yeah, we played them on. What did we play them on? Yeah, we played them on Reclaim, we beat them 7 1. Then we played them on Impact, which was a 7 2. And yeah, it was it was a lot closer than like the score, because I remember like it was a lot of like um, all the way rounds that went all the way to 2 10. Like it wasn't really like three caps. But um, I do remember me catching a four piece like on their hill, which was like pretty dope. But they weren't on my screen, I think. So that's that sucked. Um, then right after that, um, we played Hazard Esports on main stage. All these matches were on main stage except for the pool play ones. Um, so yeah, we played Hazard Esports, which is Excels. I know you, a lot of you guys know him as well as Detox, Strafey, Resic, and Fragout. So we ended up playing them on Foundation, and we ended up winning 7-3, and then we played them on Lift, which was 7-1. And then, um, you know, we played E United later that day for the winner's semis. Um, so yeah, a lot of you guys do know Lava is now part of E United. We knew we were going to play well against them just because um, the, their matches before ours, um, they played, I think, Epsilon. They played um, Echo Fox and they played somebody else. I can't remember who it was, but I think it was an open bracket team. But they were not playing good. Like I think they were in a slump in that event. The entire weekend they were in a slump, which is you know unfortunate. Um, they weren't playing like you know uh, a lot of people expected them to play. So we knew going to that match, you know, we were pretty confident. Um, 
you know, just capitalize on their mistakes and stuff like that. So we ended up beating them um, 7-3. Both maps, I think it was Impact. And the other map was... I think it was Dam. Was it Dam? Yeah, I think it was Dam. Yeah, so 7-3 found it. Foundation Impact, 7-3, Dam. Um, it was a quick 2-0. Um, yeah, it was a... Uh, I thought I expected the match to be a lot closer, but at the same time I didn't just because of how bad they were playing that weekend. Um, but yeah, so I think that was our last match of the day. Yeah, that was that con that concluded day two. So now heading into Championship Sunday, we played Envy in the winners finals, first match of the day, um, which was against Envy. We went um we woke up like at 9 a.m. or something like that, went down to warm up. Um, you know, it was we played some two v two escalations. Uh, it was me and Icy versus um mental and explosive. You know, we just wanted to make sure we were warmed up and you know just focused going into that match because you know winter semis versus Envy was a big match. Or I think it was winners finals, not winter semis. Yeah, I think it was winners finals. Yeah, it was. All right, so first map. Um, it was reclaim. We ended up winning seven four. Um. We were choking a lot of rounds, but they were as well. So like, you know, we ended up just clutching up, um, especially icy, which was it. It was like six four, I think, and we were like three dead, and icy literally like one v six. He caught it like a six piece pretty much on the e hill on reclaim. I know a lot of you guys seen it because they were on his screen. So like, um, I was expecting that the whole time. I was like, oh my god, we're actually gonna win this round just because icy got a six piece. Which, you know, I mean, I'll take that. I see actually went off and um, we, we took that map. We won 7-3. Right after that, we played Foundation, um, which was, at, again, 7-3. And um, I don't remember much of Foundation. Um, just just the usual Foundation. Um, I mean, we all made pretty clutch plays and... Um, yeah, just, it was a 7-3. So then after we beat them, we had to wait, uh, to play the winner between Ghost Gaming or Envy. And as, um, we ended up playing Envy again in the Grand Finals. So before, meanwhile, Ghost and Envy were playing, um, we decided to go have lunch upstairs in the cafe. Um, you know, I got a really nice, like, a burger and, like, some fries. It was really good. But... <laughs> We had to rush because we had to play um envy actually beat ghost pretty quick um they beat them like two or something like that but right after that um we were up next so we had to like rush to our meal i don't even think um mental finished eating whatever so right after that we went to go play the first series which we lost we lost like seven the mass were reclaimed and damn um we, we lost seven four reclaimed and we choked like almost every round we we had we were up in points and we just got wiped you know we were like five down they got the three cap you know it was just bad like we were you know we were just not there they were like envy just came off a hot tool against ghost and we just came off lunch i guess you can say but i don't know i don't really want to make uh lunch as an excuse um you know just we weren't warmed up we weren't ready to play at that moment so you know it took us a a series you know when we lost we're like all right we got one more series to go um you know we weren't really worried you know just a hard reset you know it happened to us before and columbus they beat us the first series and you know we just reset it and we ended up playing um the second series again right, so next series we won foundation um again the maps are foundation damn they picked damn again because i'm pretty sure they are excuse me they're like 100% on dam. They have never lost dam on land. So, you know, they're pretty confident on that map. Uh, they picked it. So the map, we picked foundation. They picked dam. And tiebreaker was reclaim, I believe. But foundation, we ended up winning 7-3. And um, the first round, I do remember this. The first round, um, we lost. I'm um, pretty sure we were up in points. No, actually, they got a crazy 3 cap. We actually got smoked the first round. Uh, what we did um, was we put down the double retros on each side. And you know that helped us a lot, especially because Retro's pretty brolic on land. Oh my god, um, it's pretty brolic, like, and that's you know explosives very weapon. So you know we put that down, and that helped us get like a lot of our rounds, because he's actually really good with that. Um, so yeah, we ended up winning seven three, foundation, and then we went on to the next map again, which was Dam. 
Um, we knew we could we can beat them on that map just because the last time they beat us it was a six six and they just clutched up and a lot of the rounds that we lost were just you know were flukes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, pretty much it ended up going six six again the second series in the grand finals. Um, I do remember this. Um, pretty sure Mental got first blood on like the E ramp and then um. You know, I was just lancering, and I'm pretty sure Fran was just trying to run back to his side L, as well with the ribs, and I think Solus was there too. Like they were all three there, just trying to like, you know, going for reads. And I was just lancering, and um, explosives going up for the kills with a shotgun. But um, yeah, I was just lancering like everybody. But it could have went bad just because um, explosive got flanked by ribs. But I think ribs, um, I think he was just too far to get the kill or something like that. But yeah, four down, and then we ended up going to their home and oh, yeah ribs ended up running away um but we downed them and that was serious we downed them and killed them and we needed a break on their home and i'm not sure you guys remember but mental killed solar's back rolling then he jumped into their home hill and broke it at 206 well he jumped in at 206 and it took three seconds to break break it so he broke it at 209 so that was like like right there we knew that we had to win that map like they were just you know they were just they choked that round and it was like a big round i think it was like i would think i think it was four three in their four in their favor and we brought it back four four just because um you know he killed them and was able to break that hill so yeah that's pretty much it um right after that you know uh we went up to the trophy uh i you know my first thought was to let ic pick up the trophy you know i it was you know it was only right to let him pick it up um he played really really well the entire weekend they're taking a lot of pictures as well with um everybody we took like a big uh picture you know with the whole community and like the audience which is pretty cool because i'm pretty sure they did that in mexico they did that since columbus um i don't think they did it in london but yeah that picture is like pretty cool um after party wasn't that good since it was for like 21 and over um it was at like uh this um it was at the Bally's Casino, something like that. So yeah, obviously, you know, if you're not 21, you're not allowed in there. Um, me and Metal got kicked out because <laughs> we're um, we're both underage, obviously. Um, so we got kicked out like two times. We tried sneaking our way back in, but we're like, all right, they're gonna keep kicking us out. So we um, we just left. Um, I went to go hang out with the Splice guys, and um, I don't know where he went, but I just ended up um, you know, just go going with them, and then um. I think I slept for like two hours that night because I had to catch a flight early that morning. So we all took an Uber, me, Icy, and Mental, whatever. But yeah, that was pretty much the weekend. Um, you know, it was it was pretty good. Um, actually, I got a Connect flight on my way back home, which my first ever Connect flight, and I didn't like it at all. It was actually like it was weird, like riding two planes in one day. Like that's just not for me. I don't know. I rather just have a one way. This event was probably one of my favorite favorite events. Um, besides Mexico, Mexico is probably one of my favorite. Um, I hope they make another event there. And um, you know, this hotel, not this hotel, but this event was ran really well. Um, you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, like the hotel was nice. Um, like it was actually one of the best hotels I've stayed at. Um, can't really compare it to another hotel, but yeah, it was a really nice hotel just because it was in a casino and stuff like that. There was also a buffet and you know just a bunch of other stuff in there. Uh, another reason why it was one of my favorites as well was because um my mom, my sister, and my mom's boyfriend uh came to the event and to me you know that was like um I was pretty excited to play just because you know I used it as extra motivation you know just wanted to show my mom like this is what I do um she d growing up my mom never understood like how much this meant to me you know she would always tell me like oh why do you play this so much blah 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 you know that was when i was growing up but obviously now it's actually serious and i told her hey you should come to an event and see you know if you would like um watching or something like that so because she watches at home but she wanted to actually see at an event and she told me she actually enjoyed it as well as my sister and my mom's boyfriend because he supports me a lot but um yeah that was actually pretty dope that they came through i know this event meant a lot for like everybody especially like you know hex um the players you know the cop players um the halo guys as well i'm pretty sure he wanted to see us come out with the w just because they won their championships and that was our turn and if we did that then it would have been like back to back to back 
So I'm um, I'm really glad we came out with that W, especially you know, uh, like Icy said in his intro for the Green Wall. Um, that really was for you guys. And once again, uh, I want to thank you guys so much for the support throughout the whole weekend. You guys, um, you know, just supporting us and cheering cheering us on in the stream. You know, I was watching rebroadcast like last night. Um, just seeing all the support was great. I uh, just want to thank you guys so much for all that. But um, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Um, uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like. Um. And I'm probably going to do more videos like this, you know. I'm going to try to...